What is up guys, Chris Jardine, aka Snaggle J here with a brand new episode of This Week in Perfect Team live here on twitch.tv slash OTP Developed. And ladies and gentlemen, this one is a special one. As I have the wonderful pleasure at this time of introducing you to our Chief Marketing Officer, Rich Grisham, along with our very special guest from the Houston Astros, none other than Lance McCullers Jr. Take it away, Rich. Yes, thank you, Chris. And yes, we are thrilled. We are delighted to welcome World Series champion, Major League All-Star pitcher Lance McCullers Jr. to the show. Welcome, Lance. How are you tonight? I'm doing great, guys. Hanging out here in my, uh, my private airfield in L.A. <laughs> uh, I'll be ready to head home after, after the episode. Awesome. So first off, we want to ask what everybody wants to know, which is how are you feeling and uh, when can fans hope to see you pitch again? I'm feeling really good. Um, I'm, my, my rehab is ahead of schedule. I, I met with Dr. Elishash today, actually, which is the reason why I'm in L.A. Um, not doesn't mean I'm going to be able to pitch this year. I'm still definitely going to be out this entire year. I'll be our biggest cheerleader um, and I'll be ready to roll for 2020. But um, all, all my all my work is going to go into being ready for that season. And I'm hoping uh, my last two guaranteed seasons um, in Astros uniforms is the best that, that, um, that I'll have. Well, we're, we're very happy to hear that. We all wish you uh, the speediest recovery possible. So let's talk about something a little, uh, a little happier note. Maybe. The 2017 World Series was, in a word, out astounding. Uh, your Astros prevailed in seven games. A year removed now, what stands out to you as a particularly memorable moment that has really stayed with you uh, since that amazing World Series? Um, for me, man, it was just about how every single guy throughout the lineup, 1 through 25, stepped up at a different time. I mean, you talk about early and you talk about uh, the really the series kind of boiled down to that first home run Marwin hit in game two off Jansen. That's like, that was kind of our kickoff. And then we came home and I was I was fortunate enough to be able to start and, and win Game Three, and um, obviously we had we had the, one of the craziest games in, in, in World Series history in Game Five, yeah. and then um, everyone just seemed like they stepped up and and did their part, and we continued to pass that baton and during the lineup in, in, in Game Seven, um, and then the same thing with the pitchers, man. So it's like it's just like huge collective effort to achieve something that, looking back on it, you, you have no idea how hard it is to achieve. Mm, I believe it. Yeah, that was. Uh, even though I'm not a, an Astros fan or a Dodgers fan, that World Series is going to stay with me forever. That was amazing. All right, real quick, I want to make sure that we let you talk about this. We know that you have a uh, you have a you have a very charitable side to you. Uh, where can people find out about that? And how can people help contribute to what you're doing uh, with the charities that you're involved with? Well, the, the main charity that that I'm involved with is uh, the Lance McCullers Junior Foundation, which is um, to protect uh, rehab and uh, grant medical funds and also relocate animals in the Houston area. Um, we relocate animals all over the country to, to safe haven, to save them from being euthanized, which is uh, being killed. Sometimes these animals have less than two or three days to be adopted. Also uh, giving out large grants um, to, for animals that, that are injured, that come into the shelters, that would typically, typically be the first animals uh, to be euthanized. So we're able to step in there and give them um, the best chance possible for, for a great life. So all of my social feeds are, are, are filled with it. Uh, Lance McCullers Jr. Foundation um, on, on Twitter and Instagram are filled with it. I also do work with Big Brother, Big Sister. Um, we, we're hosting, a, a, ch we're hosting a, um, a holiday party tomorrow for them, uh, for, for the kids in, in that program to give them an awesome holiday party. So giving back is something that, that I love um, to do, especially in Houston, because Houston supports the Astros, support me, and um, actually made me feel at home there. Excellent. All right. Well, we're happy to have you on tonight. So are you ready to rip some packs and start the journey to create your own perfect team? I'm ready. I'm ready. I think my uh, team is pretty decent, though. <laughs> yeah, it, your, your team's doing pretty good now. In the most recent sim, uh, you blew a 6-5 lead in the bottom of the ninth and lost to Cumberland 7-6. Um, so you, but you're still you're sitting at 12-6. and six, You're a game and a half up so far in your division. So, I mean, you know, you can't really complain about that. Um, so... We took the liberty of setting up Lance's team uh, before the stream uh, with his starter packs and things like that. Uh, we'll take just a real brief look at his roster. Um, one thing I, I we pointed out before the stream is uh, we have Derek Fisher down here putting in some work. 
Uh, 57 at bats. He's hitting 316, two homers, 11 RBIs. Uh, he does it. He's 19 strikeouts, which is, you know, we'll have to try to get him to cut those down a little bit, uh, as we move on through the season. Um, I'll have to give him a call after the show. Yeah. Tell him to tell him to get his act together a little bit, perhaps. And, uh, and see if he can uh, turn that around. But so far, the team's looking pretty good. Now, we did uh, go ahead and pick up some gold packs that we're going to rip through uh, and see if we can uh, make your team even a little bit better. I know we've seen some people tweeting out that... That sound is supposed to be just one sec. That uh, they've already seen your team in the game, and uh, they're excited to go head-to-head -head against you. So we'll see what happens here with this first pack. Let's rip it open. Let's see what we got. Oh, a, a former teammate of yours, Mr. Uh, Ken Giles himself. Mr. Ken Giles. <laughs> now a member of. Now a I member need, of. I need, I, need, I, need, I need a closer because we, we blew the lead. That's in right. Same situations, <laughs> in same situations, Kenny G locks it down. That's right. True. He's now a member of uh, of my Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, with me being Canadian, you know, I kind of I have no choice, right? I have to have to be on the Canadian train. But maybe I'll trade you. Yeah, we could we could we could we could work something out. I think perhaps. As a Mets fan, what's my excuse? I, I don't even get to use the Canadian card. I just have to suffer with that franchise. You yeah. guys are making moves. That's true. I I kind of like this new general manager we got. I, I kind of yeah. like I kind of like the attitude and and the the daringness. It's very impressive. Yeah, Brody's going for it. That's true. Yeah. I like that. All right, let's get into another one here. Need a big bopper. Yeah, they need a big bat. Maybe a corner outfielder. You know, put the pressure on Derek to uh, cut the strikeouts down a little bit. Yeah, what we got? Who opening up? We got Alec Mills. Oh, baby, Steven Strasburg. I'm on my team. We're going to go ahead and uh, trade me. Steven will become uh, our new number one. <laughs> uh, That's a diamond 90 level Strasburg, too. That's that cool. is. Yeah, that is. That's going to go something. Matt Ho. Ooh. Well, there. And a gold card in the same pack. Manny Machado. Mm. Wow, that is. Oh, and what? <laughs> okay, these. these these packs are are definitely stacks juiced. Are definitely <laughs> a oh a 93 gosh. Severino, a 90 Strasburg, and an 89 Machado in the same pack. I Ooh. feel bad for whoever is in Lance's Bronze League at this point. If, if, if I was on my team, will, will, D, will, shoot, will shoot me the DFA notice? Yeah. Can't trade me anymore. I mean, as a, as a, as a gold card, as a gold card, you go for a thousand points. So, you know. Yeah, we got Strauss, we got Severino, we got Manny. We're rolling. My 12 and that 6 is, is going to become 106 pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's, you know. And the worst part is we have six packs to go. Like, it's only going to go up from here. Oh, that's that's the best part. It's not the worst part. <laughs> oh. Anthony Rizzo. A little oh, bit of uh, left-handed power in the lineup. Your We're big doing bopper. it. We're doing it. Yep. There's your big bopper. Pete Cosma, Sean Rodriguez, Adrian Gonzalez, a little veteran leadership. Sean, hey, good utility man. We got, we got, we got. A, maybe Gonzalez would be my player manager. Yeah, yeah. He'd be like your version of like Ichiro, perhaps. There we go. Yeah, he can he can smooth everything over with everyone. Yep, yeah. Be that glue guy in the room. That's right. That's a real thing, right? That like the glue guys, like that's not just something. To oh my god, about. that's for sure. That's yeah, Brian McCann is probably the, the the biggest glue guy of all time. What what, what a guy! So we got a we got a little Wilson Ramos action here. Wilson Ramos, nice. I know uh, Rick Rick Ankeel, one hit wonder from the year two thousand. Ankeel. Yep. A little bit of flashback action. He's, he's made a comeback. Yep. Oh. Yep. And what else we got? We got one more. That's the real good James Shields, Willie Calhoun, Shane Green. Not a bad pack. Ramos is a really good catcher. A lot of people, a lot of people in the community have been saying that it is difficult to find a quality backstop. So yes. that Ramos will be uh, will serve you well. I like my my my, my Ramos uh, my Ramos pickup. 
it's free too. He's free. Yep. In, in, in the pack, so. Chase That's Bradford. Oh. And again, you know, it's, it's not a media invention. Having the right catcher for, for a pitcher like you, Lance, is pretty crucial. Me, we got Strasburg and Severino on the staff. Yep. I'm not worried about me anymore. No. <laughs> a guy you probably know. A guy you probably know well from the NL West, uh, reliever from Texas, Jose Leclerc. Uh, yep. Nasty slider. Yep. Big chain. Big chain guy. So you, the bull, the bullpen is getting better. Bullpen With him and him and Kenny Giles down there, you're gonna have lots and, of lots of heat from the right side. And me as a left-handed submariner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's how you're gonna repackage yourself. Yeah, I can throw lefty. Okay, little ambidextrous action. I like it. I w if you had told us that before, we could have got a Lance McCullers Jr. Uh, lefty submarine alternate card in the game. Coming soon to a perfect team near you. That would have been the, that would have been the play right there. <laughs> is it too late? Is, is, do we have any, are any of the devs listening? Ooh. Sleep in Germany right now, unfortunately. Well, another uh, NL West counterpart, Mr. O Mr. Otani. Oh boy, we're getting Tommy John squad together too. I love it. <laughs> got me. Got, you got you got. Well, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm the I'm our virtual GM. We got yep. Strauss. We got Tani. We're rolling. I mean, this 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 team already has has championship written all over it. That's for sure. Honestly, I would say. If we lose, simulation's broken. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely be filing bug reports for sure. Ab absolutely, Carlos Gomez. Oh, another another Leclerc. So you got something to something to trade anyway, something to sell. A little uh, duplicate yeah, action. Right. Too bad you can't play two of them because then you'd just be that much better in the bullpen. But oh, that's perfect. We, we we can spend something. Yep. <laughs> All right, we got one more pack to go. All right, let's see. Steven Souza. Quality bopper. Adrianza. Yes. Late, late, late pinch hit, right over, the, right over the wall, mini made. Yep. Yep. Kyle Farmer, a little backup catcher action. Okay. Ooh. Historical legend Sam Crawford, who I have never heard that name before. Hmm. Well, he's a historical legend, so we're putting him in there. He's in. He's in there. He played for Detroit. That's. I'm, I'm trusting the card. He played for okay. Detroit. I'm just waiting. The, the chat is going to just blow up here with people giving me all kinds of facts about this guy here momentarily. I'm sure I'll know his entire life history before too long. The Sam Crawford. No Jake Sully says. <laughs> so, all right. So we're going to go in and we're just going to uh, let the old AI do its thing here. So the team's looking. I mean, after that, you have a rotation of Luis Se rolling. Severino, yeah. Strasburg, Otani, Ankiel and Bobo Newsom, who uh, is a my boy Bobo. Bobo Newsom is <laughs> he's my he's a right there. Okay. Crawford was among the American League leaders in hits, RBIs, extra base hits, slugging percentage, and total bases for eleven consecutive years from 1905 nice. to 1915. That's 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 actually my I should have known that um, that's my expertise of era too. It's the early 1900s. <laughs> Yes, uh, it creeps back to even the 1850s. Yeah, yeah. All right. And in the bullpen, we have uh, we have Giles, Leclerc, Alec Mills, Taylor Williams, Dan Jennings. Let's go. Oh, Dan Jennings, love it. Yeah. Brian yeah. McCann's a big, a big Jennings guy, big Jennings fan. So I, I'm I'm on board. Nice. And I got and I got I got Leclerc to trade too. Okay. That's right. I'm just waiting here. My game seems to have locked up for half a second, of course, because I have too many things going on all at once. So, <laughs> as per usual, we'll, uh, we'll do that. So now, now the the big the big part of the stream is we have uh, not just we teased it earlier. We do have a new Lance McCullers Junior card that is available in the game right now. Uh, that right. we've released it earlier today. Um, we also have a special card. It's the new, it's the new Sterling Silver Pack. It, it's <laughs> it's brand new. So let's go down and have a look and see at two brand new cards that you can get in Perfect Team uh, right now. Uh, let's go here. 
So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The 2017 All-Star Lance McCullers Jr. Uh, with a very, very sharp looking card. Uh, as you can see, as you can see, uh, the velocity. I know Lance takes his velocity in baseball video games very seriously. Uh, so we do have the velocity at at ninety five to ninety seven miles an hour. Does... Yeah, it's maybe a tick high, but I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have we have eight eighty seven stuff, uh, ninety six rating on the on the knuckle curve, which we we're pretty hopeful that that's higher. right. Well, 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 yeah, I mean, this was an all-star season. We probably could just go all out and give you everything that you need. Like, I, I advocated for hundreds across the board, but uh, unfortunately, oh, we gotta be, yeah, we got to be realistic about it. Yeah, well, yeah, we 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 try to do our best at uh, getting it accurate. I'm, I'm, I'm very I'm very appreciative of, of the velocity too. <laughs> we, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna print that card out and have that forever. <laughs> You should. Now, my question to you, Lance, is how familiar are you with the 1986 San Diego Padres? Uh, well, I know my pops. I know my pops and uh, Goose Gosses were on that team. That's a yeah. good bullpen help. Well, right now you can get a 1986 Unsung Heroes Lance McCullers senior card in perfect team uh with Dang. with that san diego padres so we decided you know we if we were putting another lance mccullers junior card we figured we should show his dad some recognition as well and get him his own card uh he was a very good reliever in the mid 80s with san diego um yeah, he was a real deal in, in san diego man yeah so you can jump into perfect team those cards are in packs they're available right now uh, in packs, the Lance McCullers and the Lance McCullers Jr. brand new cards are available. Um, so yeah, I mean you could you could roll a double McCullers squad. Uh, you know, you just you just got to get out there and get lucky for sure. You'd be able to That's do it. it up. That's it, man. So we know that you got a plane to catch, Lance McCullers Jr. Thank you so much for being on tonight. We appreciate it. Your team is locked and loaded and ready to rock. I hope you had a good time. We certainly did. Thank you so much, and best of luck on your rehab. We can't wait to see you back out on the mound, dominating and leading the Astros to another World Series championship. So thank you, and, uh, and good luck. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah, you. thank you, man. We appreciate it very much. Rich, are you hanging around, or are you bailing? I'm going to hang around for a little while, if you don't mind, my that, friend. I don't mind at all, guys. That was, that was a lot of fun. Um, to, uh, thank you so much to Lance. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and for be able, being able to make that happen, we know he's a very, very busy guy. Uh, he's actually, like I said, he was saying, you know, he was in uh, LA. Uh, he's going back to Houston because he's doing a big brothers, big sisters event in Houston tomorrow. Um, so he's a busy guy. He, even though he might not be, uh, a hundred percent just yet, but he's, he's staying busy and, uh, doing his thing. So it was, Hey, that was, that was awesome. I'm still great. I'm, it was really fun, minus the fact that, as Chat pointed out, that a 100 out of 10 intro that I gave was all for naught because I was muted. Oh no! Are you kidding uh, me? That, that's fine. It was wasn't meant to be. It's one of those. It, you know what? That's that's the that's the downside, Richard, of live television. Sometimes you just <laughs> sometimes sometimes you absolutely blow it, like yep. <laughs> like I just did. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to continue now. We, we have some, we have some cool stuff still that we'd like to show off, um, for this week. So as we said, guys, you could get the Lance McCullers, uh, and the Lance McCullers junior cards. They are available in packs right now. Um, I'd love to see if you guys happen to pull some of those cards, make sure you guys, um, you know, tweet those at us at OTP perfect team or post them in the fire pulls. Um, section of the Discord, which you can get to by going to discord.gg slash OOTP. Uh, Rich, real quick while I'm switching um, from Lance's account to mine, yeah. um, can you tell the chat the changes that you have made to your roster? I know you, you, we, you know, if, if those of you who are going to listen to OOTP now later this week, Rich was pondering uh, making some changes to his squad. Tell me, what did you end up doing and how has it fared you so far through 19 games? All right. So I was debating whether I keep going team no money or team 20 bucks. And after a mediocre at best season, 
announced in my uh, season two, I said, you know what? I'm going to spend 20 bucks. But what I was originally going to do was spend 20 bucks and then just rip 25 packs because if you spend 20, you get 25,000 perfect points. But then as we were talking about on the show last night, OTP Now Episode 3, which does release tomorrow, uh, and if you uh, want to subscribe to it on uh, on Apple Podcast or Google Play, we're out there now. Uh, you guys led me down the path of, you know, why don't you go go to the auction house? It's kind of a buyer's market right now, and you can fill some holes. So I I was pretty set at the top of my rotation with a couple of great pitchers in Clayton Kershaw and Roger Clemens, a diamond and a gold, respectively, and a solid outfield. But I really didn't have a whole lot else. So I dropped 20 bucks. And I bought a whole set of cards. So I bought a uh, MLB 2018 Live Buster Posey. Uh, so filled my catcher position pretty nicely. Mm -hmm. I picked up a a, uh, a Freddie Freeman, an MLB 2018 Live Freddie Freeman. Cost me 6,999 perfect points. Picked up a Corey Kluber uh, for 65.55. Picked up a Javier Baez uh, to fill out my shortstop for just 1500 and picked up a, a couple of relief pitchers, A.J. Minter for 1500 and Jose Alvarado for 1250 And then I also got five packs, and in those packs, I ripped a really nice Chris Archer. So now my team is in much better shape. I have a, I have a, a really strong bullpen. I've got a really good top of the rotation, middle of the rotation. The bottom of my rotation is a little weak. And I now have, in addition to a solid outfield, I've got a world-class first baseman, a world-class catcher, and a, and a world-class shortstop. So I'm feeling a lot better about my team now. Nice. Um, you know, I just I, – should I have ripped packs? Oh, nothing but packs? I don't know. But I just – I do like just going out and looking at the values of the players and targeting a couple players. And, you know, for – I got – I got a great catcher and a great shortstop and uh, a couple of great relievers for, you know, less than 6,000 perfect points. Yep. And they weren't all diamonds. There's some golds in there too, but I feel really good about the team. The team is definitely better. It's not as good as I thought it would be uh, at this point in time, but the team is definitely better. Nice. And I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to earn some more perfect points, rip a few more packs, but nice. I think I'm going to make a run at the playoffs this year in my uh, silver league. I'm still buzzing off of that. Uh, double diamond gold pack that that we pulled. Honestly, chat, the packs are in no way like that is just completely odds. Like I know no one's gonna believe me when I say that. No one's gonna believe that those packs were not juice, but they absolutely were not in any way juice. I don't even think we could do that, but uh, it was absolutely insane. Like I just couldn't believe to pull a Machado and a Severino and a Strasburg in the same pack. Uh, wow. So the reason why I wanted to ask Rich what kind of moves he made to his team is one thing I want to talk about on this week's show from our tips section. Um, I was asking people in the Discord, and you could join the conversation at discord.gg slash OTP. Um, strategies people are using to maximize their players. Now, we are into week, what is this, week three now? Bronze, season silver, three, gold, three, yeah. season three. Yep. So, you know, there are probably some teams out there that have, you know, some perfect cards, a few diamonds, some gold cards. There may be teams out there, you know, as the guys call it, hashtag uh, team no money, who might still be rocking, you know, a couple of golds and silver mm -hmm. squads. And these strategies right here will help you at every single level. Uh, and again, these are uh, tips directly from the community um, things that they have done and seen that work. So number one is lefty-righty. Now, lefty-righty can mean a lot of things. Uh, lefty-righty in the bullpen, making sure that you have a couple of left-handed guys um, to be able to, you know, get get those tough lefties who struggle against left-handed pitching out. It can also mean having balance in your lineup, um, you know, having a good mixture of left-handed and right-handed hitters uh, again, if you have you know four left-handed hitters in a row in your lineup and all four of those struggle against left-handed pitching, when you're playing someone else, they're going to bring in a lefty late in the game. It's going to neutralize a lot of that good stuff that you have going in your lineup. So pay attention to lefty-righty. Lefty-righty is important. It's important in real life, and it's a, it translates to an extreme importance in Out of the Park as well. Uh, oh, by the way, Chris, yep. Chris quick, quick update. My Columbus Lions are nine and seven. Okay. So this is by far the best start that I've had. I'm three and a half back of uh, 
of the DeKalb Robins, who are 13 and four, clearly a loaded team. But I haven't been over 500 more than a, a, a half a dozen games into the season yet. So this is definitely a strong start for me. But it also points out I still got some work to do. Still definitely got some work to do. Yep. Oh yeah. No. And that's the thing is 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 where when you make a lot of changes, one thing I find is. Um, you know, is just getting ready, getting, you know, getting used to those players. Like I'm going to go through my team here in a little bit and I've made a lot of additions and a lot of changes. And you know what? It's, I haven't really had a chance to dive into it too deeply today. Um, you know, but it's, it's trying to, you know, just trying to move guys around. Uh, and that comes to the next thing is balance. Now, not every team is going to be balanced. You can build a speed team, a power team, or a contact team, but balance applies to either trying to balance those elements, or if you're going for a speed team, you need to balance that speed team throughout your lineup. So, you know, it's, you know, making sure you have a guy that can steal bases, have guys that can put the ball in play, have guys that can hit for power, but if you're going for, say, an all-power team, make sure it's a balanced power team. So what I mean by that is have guys that hit very good power against lefties. Have guys that hit very good power against righties. You know, like it, it, Even if you're going for what we like to call a theme team, you know, a mm -hmm. contact, or you, you still have to look for that balance, that making sure that your lineup one through nine is just is ready to play. And Because, again... Um, if you get into, especially in the playoffs, against somebody who may be sitting there watching every sim go by, you need to make sure that your lineup is as hole-proof as possible. Um, you do not want to have ways that people not ex can exploit you, but can take advantage of your poor managerialing. Um, I know managerialing is is a is a hot word on stream, Rich. That, that is that is a word. You know the reason why the reason why I prefer to do live content instead of recorded content is because I can just make up my own vocabulary when it's live. When it's recorded, when it's recorded, people are like, "Why didn't you look up the right word and edit it out?" And I'm like, say, "There's no pressure to edit in a live no, show." No, no, live. It's just it, it, it's what you get. I mute myself. I mute myself for the intro, and I make up words. <laughs> So that's that's pretty good, and you know what? It's I'm gonna get absolutely ripped for it in the chat. I'll probably get ripped for it in the Discord. I don't care. At this point, chat, you guys know what you're getting, right? Like, <laughs> you know when when Snaggle Jay's face is in this corner of the screen, and we're talking about stuff. Any possible you know G-rated words can come out of my mouth, even words that aren't words. Um, number three, defensive training. Um. Now, before everyone starts ravaging in the chat, uh, I have had a few people come up to me or message me today saying that there is an issue with their training carrying over. We're looking into it. I promise you we're looking into it. That's been escalated already. Uh, but defensive training is important. Um, you know, if you're out of it later in the season, maybe training your shortstop who has a good arm at third base might make sense. Being able to train people who will work at a different position, at multiple positions, gives you more flexibility. Um, one thing I see constantly in the Discord is people talking about defensive training, defensive training, defensive training. Making sure your outfielders can play all three outfield positions. Making sure that your second baseman can play shortstop. Making sure, if you have, again, if you have a strong arm shortstop, he can play third. Uh, making sure you have some different guys that can play first base. It just it gives you so many more lineup creation options it gives you so many more um options for resting people and you know matching up against people in the playoffs so it's definitely very important strategy sliders um some people don't use them some people live and die by the strategy sliders so there's two different sets of strategy sliders and i can show you them here in a little bit um, there is a global strategy slider which will set your strategies for the whole team and individual player sliders which can set obviously strategy for individual players this goes back to number two um you know balancing your team you want to make sure that your strategies match the strengths and weaknesses of your team so for example if you don't have any guys that steal bases and you guys have your team is loaded with big bomb bombers who are horrible base runners don't turn your stealing up to a 10. i mean i i feel like that's not something i need to say out loud but 
there are people who will set those strategies and then will they'll forget them and don't be afraid i see people already saying in the chat that they're messing with their strategies constantly don't be afraid to tinker with the strategies give them six or seven games give them a day's worth of sims and then and change it up if it's not working again that's what baseball is all about in real life managers put lineups together they put ideas together they don't work guess what you go back to the drawing board and you come up with something else rich has this brand new you know i don't want to call it a cadillac of a team but you know it's a it's a 2017 honda civic brand new yeah. low mileage off the lot yes you know looking good and his he may put strategies in play and his team might go seven and 18 tomorrow yep. and he's going to look at happen. and he's going to look at it on wednesday and think one where have i gone wrong and two <laughs> how can i make it better so you know it's don't be afraid to mess around with the strategies and to go with that don't have too quick of a hook don't don't sell a card because he has one bad game like and again i feel like this is something that i maybe don't need to say out loud but don't sell a card after because he has one bad game um you know people are going to have bad games baseball players again a, 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 an, an above average baseball player fails at the plate seven out of ten times so you know, if you have a guy he has a couple of bad games if he's done you well judge someone based more on what he's done for you as a whole as opposed to what he's maybe done for you in the last four games um you know that's again that's not i know that kind of contradicts what i said about the strategies part but with the strategies part you're looking at it more as like again as a team based if you turn your stealing up and everyone's getting caught stealing that's a problem if you turn your stealing up and one guy gets caught stealing twice in one game benching him and turning your thing your um, slider down is probably a bit of an overreaction um uh rich what kind of what kind of like strategies have you been looking at have you really been digging deep into that or well i'm an old school guy so yes i i do i look at the strategy and my thing is i really you know i mean i i'm, I'm old so I, I'm, I grew up like I, to me, baseball is 1980s baseball. Cause that's when I first really started watching and living and dying with it. And, and back then, you know, pitchers, starting pitchers went long, whether they gave up a few runs or not, they would go six, seven, eight innings all the time. Relief pitchers would go long. We're not saying it's better, right? I love the game of baseball today. It's just different. So I sort of just have a tendency uh, to, to be the same way. So for example, my uh, hook starting pitchers is set to slow. Uh, it's like three notches closer to slow. Uh, my hook relievers is also a little bit on the slow side. Uh, I have my, my, if I had any speed on the team, I would certainly be more aggressive in stealing bases. But to your point, I don't really have a lot of speed. So, but I do love, I just love, you know, the, the sort of the traditional base stealing, the sacrifices, the hit and runs, the kind of stuff that watching the Mets uh, turn from a terrible team into a great team in the 1980s uh, really, you know, was was a big part of learning about baseball and watching that team do it. So I get into the strategies. I tinker with them a little bit, but it's it's I don't know that I'm tinkering with them to maximize the uh, the production of my team or more to just reflect the kind of strategy that I know. Does that make sense, Chris? Yeah, I know what you mean. You're you kind of look at it in a how you know how to play the game sort of. Thing as opposed to maybe some sort of unorthodox off the wall like unrealistic some people would call it approach right like i'm not going all all sabermetric yeah. strategy so like, not that it's bad or good it's just i feel at least like i know the kind of team that i'm gonna have yeah. and when i look at the box score win or lose i sort of know that okay well you know in this case i just got the uh the most recent uh, game where i was nine and seven now i'm nine and eight and one of the reasons that I'm nine and eight is because my starting pitcher went six and two thirds of innings and gave up six earned runs. And yep. had I had a quicker of a hook, uh, I probably would have got him out. You know, like at, through six, he'd only given up yep. four runs, but he gave up those the fifth and the sixth runs in the seventh. Had I had a quicker hook, might have brought in the uh, the the bullpen a little earlier, and I yep. wound up losing seven to four. So. Yep. You know, is it the right strategy? Well, it certainly wasn't the right strategy in that game. <laughs> yeah. But my next game, 
I got my diamond Clayton Kershaw, my diamond 99 Clayton Kershaw ready to rock. And I want him to stay in. I want him to throw 130 pitches. Yeah. So, you know, so it's tough, man. It's tough. So while, while you were explaining your strategies, for those of you who weren't paying attention in the chat, this week's uh, Perfect Points giveaway is live. Exclamation point ticket one time. Everyone's only allowed to enter once. I see lots of people trying to enter four and five times. You're, <laughs> you're not going to be able to cheat the system. Everyone can only enter once. This week, we are giving away three prizes of 2,500 perfect points uh for everyone who is here in the chat again exclamation point ticket uh, is going to get you into the draw i'll leave it open for probably another 30 or 45 seconds i see we have most of the people pretty much in there up in there already 57 hey, 58 yes sir uh am i allowed to submit a ticket uh, I did, by the way. Whether you say I am or not, I submitted a ticket. You know, we, we used 2,500 perfect points. That's I mean, good. I mean, you know, it's on the up and up. It's, it's, it's. TJ tried the same thing last week. He didn't win. <laughs> um, so yeah, guys, exclamation point ticket um, gets you in the draw. Um, I will leave it open for another 15 seconds, so get your exclamation point ticket in there. And again, you can only do it once. I see lots of guys trying to enter it multiple times. It's not going to work. The bot won't take it more than one time. Um, it is set up that way. That way everyone has equal chance of winning. Um, so it'll get, it'll return an error message. Um, so everybody get, your, get it in. I'm going to shut the giveaway down in 5, 4... Three, two, one. So hold your fire on the exclamation point ticket. Say Rich Grisham. Say Rich Grisham. Say Rich we Grisham. Got a, we, got, Rich Grisham. we got, I, want, I always like to see who that last person to get in right at the end is. <laughs> right at the end. All right, let's see. Let's go over and pull, pull a few winners. So, again, we're going to have three winners. If your name is drawn, um, you can either send us a whisper here on Twitch or if you're in the Discord, you can send me a direct message. Again, it's Chris, Perfect Team CM. I'm in the top right of the list. Um, so you can send me a DM with your... I need your Perfect Team username. Do not put your Perfect Team username in the chat. <laughs> Please whisper it to us or DM it to me. Uh, so winner number one, Nick Waddick. Nick Waddick, congratulations. You have won yourself 2,500 Perfect points. Uh, winner number two, TNT RP3. Nice. Uh, so Nick Waddick, TNT RP3, you guys have won. And the third winner is Hockey Lover 899 my guy of the, of the Washington Capitals fandom. I appreciate that, of course. Um, so Nick Waddick, TNT RP3, and Hockey Lover 899 you guys have won 2,500 perfect points again. Please send us a whisper here on Twitch, or you can send me a DM directly um, on Discord. Um, send me your perfect team username, and we will get those sent off to the dev team so we can get those perfect points credited whoop, into your account. Um, and uh, let me just say, Chris, I want to say thank you to everybody who is who is listening and watching and who's playing perfect team. You know, I know we say it a lot, but I we say it a lot because we mean it. The, the response and the joy that we've seen from the community on Perfect Team has been fantastic, and we're just so happy that you're all playing and enjoying it and having a good time. So on behalf of everybody, uh, I just want to say thank you. You guys are amazing. You're, you're just so – it's so fun to see this whole thing happening like it is. So thank you very much. Yeah, you know, and I, I echo that sentiment pretty much every week. The, the response that we have had to – to uh perfect team so far has been absolutely amazing um and you know what it's been and and i, I don't mind saying not just when things are going smoothly mm -hmm. um you know when we encounter hiccups like we did yesterday with with some of our servers going down and stuff you know everyone's respectful and reaching out and, and pinging yep. me in the discord and saying hey can you look into this uh, and everyone is has been super hype and respectful and um you know productive and constructive and we really, really appreciate that. It makes my job as a community manager so much easier. Um, 
one thing that I was really, really happy to see uh, is for those of you who don't know, last week we opened up a form um, where you could submit your own ideas oh boy. For, for cards that you wanted to see in the game. And I'm going to announce it right now because I, f I feel like it. I feel like announcing it. On the, it, has this been authorized? Wait a sec. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. No. <laughs> On the January 7th episode of This Week in Perfect Team, we will be introducing the first ever set of community request content. Yes. Um, so these are going to be cards that you guys, you know, in, uh, on Twitter, in the Discord, on the forums, um, on Reddit, have submitted to us cards that you guys want to see in the game. So yep. um, January 7th, we're going to be introducing six brand new community requested cards into the game. Uh, you know what? This is the kind of stuff, this is the kind of stuff we want to do. This is your guys' game this is not this is not our game this is everybody's game this is the community's game so uh, make sure you guys tune in january 7th um, for the first ever community request content um yeah so that i mean that's going to be you know i had I, I couldn't hold rich you got me all sentimental <laughs> rich got me all sentimental about uh the community and everyone being all nice and making perfect team of success so i you know why not why not just drop a bomb right like just and, just like get, and, like, just like that and Something else that's great uh, is that there are going to be, in the spirit of this, we are we we are just at the beginning of the planning stages. But let us say that we have commitments from multiple people and or organizations to have their own themed cards as well. So this is just the start of something really big. Uh, those of you who have been around us for a while, you know who our partners are. You know who the fans of 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 out of the park baseball are. Let's just say that there's going to be a whole a whole, a whole lot of really cool stuff themed to card packs, not just from the community, but also so from some folks that yeah. and organizations that people know. It's going to be a great, great year. I was just checking with my agents off stream uh, to make sure that you were authorized to say that. Uh, <laughs> Lance was nice enough to provide his representatives. They're going to represent me now as well. Uh, and I was checking with them to make sure that you know that you uh, were authorized to say, but you didn't really say anything that. I you know. signed an NDA with myself, so I think I should. <laughs> No, and, and you know, and that's the great thing is, is it's, it's, you know, this is the first like major event that we've been able to do, you know, here on our third yeah. episode, but this week in perfect team, we've had three amazing episodes. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been extremely well received. We've gotten lots of feedback, both good and bad. Uh, and again, I don't look at the bad feedback as bad. I look at it as things that the community would like to see us do differently, do better. Um, so we're going to keep growing the program. Um, Will Lance McCullers be the last Major League Baseball player we have on the show? Who knows, chat? Who knows? Uh, you know, maybe maybe my muted intro will ruin any chance we ever have of working with Major League Baseball players ever again. And for that, I would apologize. Uh, but you know what? It's been it's been a lot of fun, Rich. I I appreciate you hanging around uh, and talking this week in Perfect Team with me. Uh, I know the chat is, 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 I, people just keep typing packs. I don't know. I'm looking at the screen. I don't see any reason why people would continue to type the word packs. Uh, is there <laughs> anything on the screen that would indicate that there's going to be a pack opening? I, I don't know. We, we may, what's that? You own 25 total packs. Where did those come from? Hmm. Interesting. Um, but yeah, guys, as always, um, you can, uh, follow us everywhere on the internet. Um, again, our Discord, which by the way is approaching 1,500 members um, at discord.gg/otp. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter, twitter.com/otpperfectteam, uh, and twitter.com/otpbaseball, uh, facebook.com/otpbaseball as well. Um, if you guys want to pick up your very own copy of Out of the Park Baseball 19 or our other offering, Franchise Hockey Manager 5, you can do so by heading to otpdevelopments.com. Uh, what are you waiting for? It's great. You guys know it. it's great. Go over there. Pick it up. Um, you can also check it out on Steam, EA's Origin Platform, and the Mac App Store. Is that what it's called? The Mac App Store? I don't have a Mac. The Whatever Apple Store where you can buy applications from. 
Mac people would know what that is. There you go. Uh, and by the way, for those of you who did not see this week's update, um, once the update this week is pushed to the Mac App Store and to Origin, uh, you will be able to buy perfect points in both of those versions. I know that is something the community has been waiting for a long time. Uh, and we have finally put the infrastructure in place and have gotten what we needed to get done with um, EA and with um, Apple, respectively, to make that happen. So once those updates are live on those platforms, you should be able to buy perfect points, uh, which should be, knock on wood, in 24 to 48 hours. Um, Rich, this has been a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know if you want to hang around while I rip a bunch of packs. You, it's totally up to you. Well, I'm going to get rolling because, uh, as I mentioned... I know you have an early morning. So, but I do want to say, Chris, I want to commend you, my friend, uh, for blazing the trail as the world's first Perfect Team community manager, doing an amazing job with This Week in Perfect Team, doing an amazing job in the community, in the trenches, interacting with everybody on the dev team, interacting with the whole community. We owe you a debt of gratitude, sir. You're doing an amazing job, so thank you for all that you do. Well, I appreciate that. I'm having a lot of fun doing it, as anyone who is in the Discord or who is in the chat can attest. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. This is in no way, shape, or form work. Like, I see Chris is the man in the chat. Oh, you guys are too... You guys are too... God, get out of here. Um, so this is going to be the end of our regular episode of This Week in Perfect Team. Um, we're going to wrap it up, but I am going to... Hang around, guys. We're going to rip these packs. Like, I didn't buy 25 packs to just let them sit there and tease you guys for 45 minutes. Rich... Um, thank you so much for coming by, Rich. I appreciate uh, you taking time out um, to come by and help moderate the Lance McCullers stream, which was a lot of fun. I'm sure we'll have lots to talk about uh, in the days and weeks to come about it. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Rich Grisham, Chief Marketing Officer of Out of the Park Developments. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate you. I hope you have a safe flight and have a great rest of the week and, and a happy holidays as well. Absolutely. And right back at you, my friend. Thank you, sir. All right. So, guys, that is going to do it again for the regular episode of This Week in Perfect Team. Uh, I am, of course, Chris Jardine, a.k.a. Snaggle J, uh, community manager, I was going to say, my old title, because it's just on the tongue, you know. Um, community manager for Perfect Team. If you want to hang around, we're going to rip these packs. If you're watching on YouTube right now, um, the pack opening will be uploaded in a separate video. So you can be able to go over and check that out as well. Uh, and until next time, guys, keep swinging for the fences. <laughs>